What's going on, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We're here with one and the only two high. What up, gang? He's, uh, he's been having a role, you know, this last year, year and a half, really. Uh, you put out the Hey Gang project. Yes, sir. Um, tell me what you've been up to lately, man. Man, lately, I've just been working on uh, just extra content for singles on, I already have out and singles that I'm uh, trying to put out uh, in the future. Right now, um, I'm mainly working on EPs, singles, no major like projects right now, but 2023 is just like, you know, for sure. majority year, just, yeah. Okay. Just singles. I like it. Um, what, do you have any idea what you want to drop first? Um, I got a song I'm, uh, I'm uh, performing tonight, so it's called Slumped. That's the working title right now. For sure. It's not a for, uh, for sure title, but I might drop that first, or I might drop some hype shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> conflicted right now. Okay, so what is the process for you, like, writing? Like, do you link up with a producer ahead of time, or is it like you're finding beats ahead of time? Like, how do you operate when you're writing songs and putting stuff out? Usually, I uh, just go to the studio. And if the producer got some beats, he'll show me something. Um, if, it, if it links with me, then that's what we'll work on first. But uh, for the most part, we make beats from scratch, and then that's the process. I just write as he make the beat. For sure. What's the average studio session like for you? Like, how long are we talking? Because I talked to Troy Tyler recently, and he yeah. said he does like a five, six hour session. Yeah. What's the average session for you? I would say, yeah, no, I would say like four to five hours. Okay. Four to five hours, yeah. Uh, any producers in particular that you try to lock in with uh, and it's like the main people you work with? Right now, the main two is uh, Nobi and mm. uh, That Guy Eli. Okay. Yeah, so they, some... they make some fire ass beats. So... That Guy Eli is actually he producing the new song I'm uh, performing tonight. So. Okay, we should say too, we're at Keith Terry's release show um, for uh, Arts and Crafts. Yes, sir. How around. did you link up with him for the project to get involved? Who reached out to who? Like, were you just happened to be around each other kind of thing? Like, what happened? Um, so we pretty much linked up and got cool maybe, like, six months before he even, like, announced that he was working on this project. Mm -hmm. And I know that, like, we were both fans of each other's music. It was just kind of difficult for each other to like, actually link up and make, like, the certain sound we wanted to make. So uh, eventually, over time... As we became cooler with each other, the music just came organically. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much how it happened. And then two months later, he was like, "Yo, you on my uh, you on my album?" And I was like, "All right, bet, cool." <laughs> Went to the studio session, uh, did that verse, and then he was like, "Hey, I got another song. If y'all want to uh, write to this, y'all could be on my album again." Bet. All right, cool. So I wrote another verse. So right. I, I got two credits on this album. So there like, you go. Yeah. Um, when you write a guest verse, do you try to? Some people try to upstage people. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you consciously go out and do? Or is it something that you're like, I'm, I'm just here to play my part? What's it's, your take on it? It's definitely play my part, but at the same time, um, I try to give it my, my flavor because, I mean, obviously you reached out to me to have my, my sauce on it, so I'm going to give you my sauce. Right. So uh, I don't try to upstage anything like that. I just try to stay on topic and just try to impress myself and the, the artist who reached out. For sure. Now you're part of the, uh, the Unfinished Legacy cronies crew and everybody, so, everything like that. I know you guys had a pretty big year last year. What's, what can we expect from the cronies in 2023? We, we, got, a, we got a fire EP. We shuffling uh, maybe like 12, 15 songs right now trying to figure out like what we actually gonna put on the project. But yeah, we got a, we got a fire EP coming. Okay. Soon. Do you soon. know roughly what time of year we should expect that for? I don't even know if they want me to say this, but I, I, I would say look, look, look out for an announcement maybe in March. Okay. Yeah. That, that, we can work off that. Yeah, maybe in March you get an announcement. Um, and then when do you think your next solo project might be rolling? I know you said singles for this year. Yeah. So my solo project, full length, it'll probably be... 2024. Okay. Um, probably, probably that spring, For sure. leading into the summer. Yeah. Okay. Now you performed at Big B MKE last year. Yes. Uh, shit was crazy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> when can we see you out live again? Beyond obviously tonight. Oof. Um. Oh, actually, you can you can catch me live February 12th. I'll be at the Cactus Club with Vegas Valentines. 
There we go. Perfect. Now, people want to get in touch with you, but they got to find you. Where's the best place to go follow you at? They can best. Uh, they can follow me on Instagram at I'm underscore 2 i That's I'm underscore 2 h i. So. There we go. Perfect. Keep it locked to Breaking and Entering as well because we've got tons of coverage of the Milwaukee music scene. Thanks so much, man, for doing this. Appreciate it, dog. For sure.